actually lifts another member of Entity up in the air. Saberlight just trying to run away at this point to waste some time. Stun onto Toby. Four steps to the high ground. Just barely makes it. Silence comes in from X. Or from Ori, I should say. Obviously does not have the exorcism to work with. Primal split again goes off thanks to the Aghanim Scepter. Is Toby getting gone on completely by Ori? That's the first death for the Doom. Might to Ori himself, but the rest of Entity not able to really close the gap here. So the BKB from Saber like, used for a defensive measure. As the Enchant Totem actually cancels the TP from Stormstormer as a Deny comes out onto Ori, who ends up dying to his team. Monet, though, ends up dropping. A nice pick up here from Entity as they found three, but Boca looks to be next on the list. So Entity kind of waiting out this primal split. They lose only Toby, and XXS without anything else to his disposal would be dropped as well. Sexy Exorcism. So if Entity can try to defend this while this Exorcism is up, it'd be a good time for them to go in. But Ori fully committing to the Roche. This is Roche number two with the shark. As Toby, he can see very clearly because of these wards, gets off the Poison Nova. They're gonna focus down Fishman to start this out, and he's dead. No buyback. No buyback, and Stormstone gets a big avalanche toss onto Dazzle. So that is a dead support on both sides. Doom applied to Ori, who still has an exorcism up. Trying to go to the high ground, as Captain only trying to finish him up in his own space as Monet. He's trying to get the Roshan, but Age just finally gets picked up by him, along with the Roche kill itself. And now he's just doing so much damage. Infernal Blade applied to him, but already too dead for Entity. The Aegis advantage for Athler, but this could be the end of the Aegis at the very least. Indeed it is. But now Saberlight Company might have to get out. Fisher onto the high ground. Shiva's just pop, but it looks like Saberlight might be coming to an end here. He's gonna get jumped now by Baboka to get this finishing move. So three kills for Aster. Does does Saberlight end up going for the mana creep again to try to break the Lickens when that comes up? Or is he happy with the three second break? I don't know if he needs the break versus this Bristleback. He's looking very kiteable in these fights. Uh, and then after, you know, once everybody's dead on the side of Aster, you don't need a break to kill him if he's yeah. the only person alive. They haven't needed it yet, that is for sure. I don't even know if he's gotten it off yet. We, it's kind of hard to notice. Favor line. Oh, the Doom comes out right off the bat, but it's reflected thanks to the Lotus Orb. And Bristle not afraid of this fight at all. And see the Echo Slam used by Baboka. Storms over the BKB on the other side of the Fissure. Exorcist finally gets off the Primal Split. Fishman is his target right now, but the Bristle's dead as Stormstormer finishes him off. But it's going to be a trade for his own life. But you can see, damage being applied now to Ori. Toby, Another big one. Toby's got ult. I, I feel like he just wants to walk in, suicide, and then buy back. Yep, potentially. And Kata Omi, likely have Nimbus here soon. Fissure coming out, not really doing too much. Attack kind of blocking his own way a bit. And the Primal Split is pop. Try to take out Fishman. This pesky Bane is in the bane of Aster's existence, and he will die. Does have buyback, though, as Toby does get up the Poison Nova. The Avalanche stop from Stormstormer, focusing on the Dazzle, but he's going to live. Siamese can't get off the grave on himself. As Stormstormer now, he's the one that has to be careful, attempting to TP out, but double kill for Ori. Takes him out. Three dead. Four dead. And they're going to buy back into this game as Saberlight falls as well. Will he expend his buyback? And Ori lives throughout the second Doom, and now Entity losing a big chunk of their lead here. And even the buyback on the Siamese Cat. I, I think Aster probably oh, wants to go fight this. actually brought back into the river. Spirit Vessel applied. He's gripped, it's up again. He is gripped, and all the allies are gonna cancel the Fissure. That's too dead for Rip. Aster looking for the backstab, and they need this to go flawlessly. That is a Hail Mary. Monet, they're gonna see them thanks to the Thunder God's Wrath. Avalanche is there, but Monet already with the Lotus and the BKB. Sableye trying to get off his ult. He does so successfully on the DP with the Refresher to follow, but he's falling so low, he's gonna be brought down. 120 seconds of no saber light. No buyback whatsoever as the Poison Nova comes out, but he's just dropped to his knees. Buyback now from Baboka. And Fishman in the trees. This looks to be the last ditch effort for Entity. And Stormstormer not going to get back by Monet, so does TP back successfully. But again, 
Nothing to fear from Aster because they have everything. Aegis, two cheese, refresher, Jarred, and only two enemies against them and getting top four at this tournament. There's no way they defend this. It's impossible with these two heroes alive. They're just gonna go straight thrown. Yep, just focusing on the tier fours now as Death ends up dying here. He's the Storm back. Stormer, but we'll buy back because they've kept all their buybacks at this point. And that GG is, is called. Aster secures top four at the Arlington Major and drops Entity in the process. Yeah, Entity, they went...